Oh, hey, sweetie. I thought you might be in bed by now. Am I okay? <laughs> yeah, of course I'm okay. <sighs> I guess I should have known better. I can't really hide anything from you. Yeah, today wasn't a great day. And unfortunately, my blood supply was out. Yeah, this is bad. I've really been craving some blood. Us vampires really rely on those blood suppliers, and I guess the supply chain problems people have been talking about are hitting everyone. Especially if it's hitting the vampire community too. Yeah, I guess I'll be going hungry tonight. What? Wait, what? Are you serious? No, I'm not mad. It's just that I'm surprised. I mean, I've always loved you so much and respected your boundaries. I know how wary you are of blood. And I've always thought it was odd that you loved me since I literally live off blood from being a vampire. I never really thought that you would be willing to let me feed from you. You're amazing. I love you. Right. Why don't we get prepared for this? I'm trying to think of the best place to do it. We don't want to get bloodstains all over the couch, I suppose. We can just do it standing up. Are you sure you're okay with this, sweetie? I'm happy to go hungry tonight if you're uncomfortable. You're so sweet and so brave. I really do appreciate this, sweetie. Now follow me. All right. Do me a favor and take some deep breaths. I'm sure you're nervous, sweetie. Breathe in. Breathe out. That's good. Now, it could hurt a little bit, or you might not feel much. I hope it doesn't hurt too much. Are you ready? You're such a brave person. I'll make this as quick as possible. We're about to start, sweetie. Three, two, one. Don't worry, sweetie. I got you. Just lay back into me. I'll take you to the couch. Hey, sweetie. Are you awake? Okay. Great. I was getting a bit worried for a second. No, you weren't out too long. Only about five minutes. I'm sure you were nervous, so that probably influenced you to faint. No, no, you need to rest here on the couch with me. I'm going to give you tons of affection now as a thank you. No, no, I'm not spoiling you. You did such a great job. I'm so proud of you. I know this was extremely nerve-wracking for you. I'm impressed by your bravery, especially since you've always been a bit squeamish of blood. Yes, I'm going to praise my amazing partner who put aside their fear of blood to let me feed from them. Like I said earlier, I knew you were afraid of blood, and I always thought it was odd that you wanted to date a vampire. But I really loved you, and knew I was going to have to rely on a supplier. How did it feel being fed from? You actually thought it felt good before passing out? <laughs> You're really cute. Yes, I'm going to kiss you, sweetie. You really deserve it after being such a brave partner for me. Let me hold you, sweetie. I'm going to play with your hair now, okay? That's good. Does that feel nice? You have a question for me? Ask away. Did your blood taste good? <laughs> well, it was actually super tasty. I might have a new favorite blood now. But if you don't want to do this again, I understand. You want to try it again another time? You really are the bravest soul lately. I'm so proud of you. I'll make sure that whenever we do this, you feel safe and comfortable after it. 
Eventually, you'll probably get used to it. I'm glad you want to try it again. Oh, no, I should be good for a bit of time now. Besides, I can't have you lose too much blood. That would be too much for you. I could never lose you. I know that you don't really want to be turned into a vampire, so I can't do that. No, no, don't start talking like that. I'll not listen to you say such things. I do not resent you for not wanting to become a vampire. I know how you are with blood most of the time. I can understand why it may be a bit unappealing. I've been around for quite some time now. About 400 years. Well, it is nice to stay eternally young. Being around for so long can have downsides too. For example, many of my human friends pass away when I'm just practically getting to know them. I must say... I've had a couple of partners in the past, but none of them could ever compare to you. Of course, I've fed from them too. There were various reasons it didn't work. One died, another cheated on me with another vampire, and I decided to stop looking for a partner for a while. That is, until I met you, sweetie. You are the love of my life. I hope to stay with you for as long as possible. If you don't choose to become a vampire and you inevitably pass away, I won't look for a new partner. That's how much you mean to me, baby. I love you so much. I'm glad you're in agreement. Hey, baby, I just want to tell you again how proud of you I am about how brave you were tonight. That took a lot of courage. And I'm really appreciative of it. I love you. <laughs>